Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking, coming at you. How y'all doing? Tonight, I just figured I'd go live with this little video, just some whipping up something for the for the neighbor's party, or just in that party, so we're trying to get together. Uh, and y'all, I'm gonna be walking away from the pod a little bit in this video, so please don't get too upset. I'm browning off some sausage down here. Y'all check this out. This is, um, we got some, uh, Hey, Ryan, we got some Tennessee Pride hot sausage that I've just been branding off. That's one little roll of it, probably a pound, I guess, is what's in that. Putting down here in old red. All right. Then to that, we about to add a little spice. We got some of this amazing Cajun, Cajun seasoning. What's going on, Naive? Brother, putting a little bit of this off in there. Something like that. All right, then we're going in with some of my Purines. This wonderful butter seasoning right there. There's some good stuff. Okay. Some of that on there. Flavor Town. Right there for sure. All right. Y'all bear with me. I'm going to run over here. I got some Louisiana Cajun Certified Crawfish. Oh, yeah. Where are my scissors? Y'all watch, watch my stuff here. Make sure it don't burn for me. Oh yeah, stir that around, get that flavor just explode. All right, here we go. One pound Louisiana uh, Cajun certified crawfish tails going in there. Throw this in the garbage, throw it right back to y'all. Like Bust them up, stir them in that just straight flavor town. Mm. Oh man, you can smell them crawfish now. Oh yeah, let's get a little bit more. A little bit more of my. Oh yeah, have made products on them. Oh yeah, now I'm coming in, watch this. A little crystal hot sauce. Can't beat that. Come on. There we goes. Right there. Good old drunk of that. I just want to let this saute just for a minute, about medium heat, just to get everything good. Let me see, what else might be good in here? This is one of the recipes y'all we can just kind of add as you please. Well, I don't know. Just a little bit, just to help saute, but just a tiny bit of, you know, a tablespoon or so of butter in there. We'll just kind of stir that around. I just want everything to get melted and get happy. You know, it's a lot of season, a lot of punch right in there what we got here. This meat and this crawfish. Mm, I can smell that, that uh, heavy made products and that crystal hot sauce just coming up off this pot, y'all. Let's see here. Come on, bust up, bust up right. Let's see, we just want to make sure we get everything nice and incorporated. Now, y'all watch that pop for a minute while I give me a little pop. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I got some stuff cooking tomorrow. I'm going to do some beef cheeks. I'm going to make a video on that, y'all. And also, I'm going to do, uh, they had that picnic shoulder for sale at the Kroger's today. So I went ahead and picked me up one of them. It's supposed to be cold as all get out tomorrow. And, uh. It was it was something else. So I'm just uh, just like I said, just kind of getting ready tonight. Gonna do the appetizer for these folks over here. They've been wanting some crawfish. What's going on, Ryan? And uh, see what's going on. But uh, yeah, this stuff starting to get bubbly now. The crawfish starting to cook. That's what I'm talking about. Some of the juice starting to come out of there. Oh yeah. And look, I mean just. The fragrance. I wish y'all could just smell this fragrance. Ah, hold on. See y'all, y'all watch out. I'm gonna run around. Where is it? I gotta find something else. Oh, y'all just watch it. Oh, drop it up. Might make sure that don't burn. Well, well. 
Like to do it out. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, I don't have my, I was looking for some, uh, some Rotels when throwing here. Well, that'd be a good addition, but that's all right. You don't have to have a Rotel in there. I could have sworn I had some Rotel mix. Y'all come with me real quick. Let's go look. I'll flip y'all around. Come on, go on an adventure with me. See, can I flip this camera? Yeah, okay. Come on here, see what I've got to deal with. Let's try to find some of this Rotel. But this morning, I went in here. He watched her hide stuff from me. Where is she there? Look at this taco seed. What's that? Hornmill. That's not it. What's that? No, no, no. I'll be danged. Can't find no Rotel, y'all. Somebody bring me some Rotel real quick. Hold on, we got one more place. We're going to search. No. No, not in there, not in there. Well, we're just going to do without the Rotel part of it. That's okay. Some people don't even like the Rotel no ways. All right, so look, all that, the juice is kind of cooked out. Let's, I'm going to turn my heat off just for a second right now. I'm going to get y'all back in your saddle here. All right, flip you around again. Now we all can see. Now, let me come with the cheese. I got some cream cheese over here, and I got some uh, Velveeta, the Blanco, you know, the white Velveeta. Let's go with the cream cheese first. Put the cream cheese in there. Just kind of melt that. See what we're dealing with from there. So you can always add and reheat side of things. Yeah, so, yeah. it's just, you know, I thought I had some. I really did. But it didn't. Maybe one of them over there at the party is watching this. I mean, they bring me over a can of Rotel. How about that? I doubt it. It's still going to be good. It's going to be real good. And what I'm going to do with this, after we mix all this, I'm going to transfer it to the crock pot, right? Bring it over. Everybody just kind of try it. But this is our main deal right here. Just want to get everything incorporated. Go ahead and turn my heat back on low, I guess. So this is what I go through sometimes. So you don't see all this on camera. I do all this running around, trying to figure something out. Ooh. You know, Rotel's so cheap, it's something y'all just keep in the house by the case. I'm gonna think of it. We don't really got a bunch of it. But all right, enough of me crying about that. About that minced in there. And, uh, oh, oh man, that wife's gonna be mad. Hold on just a second, I just slung stuff all over the stove. Mm -mm -mm. She didn't clean this kitchen. Y'all should have seen how clean this kitchen was when I come in here before I part put my spread out. Of course, you know, this is just necessary messness. That's what I call it. I mean, you gotta make a little bit of a mess, or else you ain't doing it right. Ain't that right, Abe? Mm-hmm. Abe knows about messing up my kitchen. That's for sure. <laughs> oh man. I tell y'all about the time me and Abe were cooking. It's funny, and uh, we were making a sauce, making blending a different barbecue sauce or something like that. And uh, yeah, Abe, that's what I'm just telling them about. So Abe, you know, puts all this red sauce. We even had some dimes. It was just all this stuff in the blender in my laundry room. And boom, it's one of the super pop blenders starts up. I hear, oh, I go in there. He he had not strapped the top down. There's sauce, barbecue sauce, blown all up down the. Not just the cabinets, but when my wife hangs the clothes to dry, it was a mess. Needless to say, she wasn't happy with neither of us. Not for some time. So, but it's all good now. We cook at Abe's house. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Nah, we've we, been we cooking since then. So, let's see. Y'all see, this look pretty creamy. It? it look good. That's nice. So, now what I want to do, I'm going to add in the Velveeta Blanco. I tell you what, they proud of that stuff. That's eight, this eight dollar piece of cheese I'm putting in here now. So, whatever Velveeta is, 
cheese food product, something. We're going to melt this down into here. And this will be the dip, y'all. This will be the trip. Hmm. I'm going to get this stuff off the spatula. It'll melt, though. You know, I'm always wanting to mess with stuff. Chopping at it, poking at it. Sort of thing. Sometimes you just let it let it be. We'll do just fine. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking, y'all. Is just uh, trying to trying to get a good good deal going here for this afternoon or the, tonight. Get this dip fixed, and then I don't really have too much else to plan. Like I said, I'm I'm ready for this colder weather though. I'm tired of the rain. It's been raining here like crazy. Uh, ridiculous I mean it's like flood warnings every day for a week or two and we're all tired of it around here so we'll take the cold weather I mean when we say cold here it's gonna get down to almost like 27 29 degrees that's really cold for us it's like you know emergency status almost so you know we're having like prepping for that and, you know people going raiding the grocery stores and stuff just ridiculous but I'll come down here, you can see what it's doing. Just like four inches of snow last night. Wow, right? Yeah, we don't see snow around here. If we if, if it snows, our state just stops, basically. They close the roads, they close the schools, everything. We don't get no snow. I mean, we don't we don't deal well with snow. We don't play well around here. Y'all, that's pretty. I mean, that's not mixed up as you want, but I hate to keep y'all here for this whole time. I want to taste it. Kind of just get an idea of what we're dealing with. Let me grab a little chip. You want one of these little scoop type things, right? Get down here. Just kind of see what we're dealing with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. Uh oh, I'm smacking. Abe? Mm-mm. Think that smack delicious. Right there, yes, sir. Crawfish and sausage dip. Well, we gonna call it crawfish dip. So y'all get the idea. I said, I'm not gonna keep you for the whole thing. But, look at it down there. Don't that little pretty? Serve this up some chips, um, veggie sticks if you want, whatever it is. But uh, I'm going to peace out, y'all, and I will be back tomorrow. We're going to do, like I said, beef cheeks going on the yoder. I've got that picnic shoulder. We're going to have some fun tomorrow. So thanks again, y'all, for tuning in. <laughs> Good to see you too, Abe. And uh, we'll ha. Hold on just a second.